Just really quick before we get started, uh, join the Discord, top line in the description, come to the Neon White channel, post your runs, I'll do like VOD reviews and analysis and record custom little tutorials. It's a good time. We had all these people join from last video, so let's get those numbers up. And while you're at it, subscribe as well, why not? Okay, here we are in Fireball. So the big thing to know about the Fireball card is that if you Fireball into the floor, you get like a water boost, like the equivalent of running of water, like for a long time, even after the dash has ended. So like you'll see here, like you like slide along the floor. So whenever you use fireball cards, your goal is to like do it against the floor to get a lot of speed. So you want to use the first one. You want to jump into the first card and use it to kind of um, be in line with this floor here. And then you want to jump uh, into this card and use it immediately. And rather than using like jumping as late as possible, you want to jump when you're at the end of this hallway like this. And that'll get, uh, if you have the speed of the fireball, that'll get both the barnacles to uh, see you around the same time so you can do this double slash. So in order to do this double slash properly, like I said, you jump at that time and you fireball towards the card. And while you're fireballing towards the card, you start holding the swap button so that when you pick up the card, you're still holding your katana. And if you're holding your katana, you can just hold left click and jump after you slash the first bullet to get it grounded. And then uh, you slash the second bullet, then you can swap to your fireball. Now for one of the bigger time saves of the level, Right here, you want to shoot to kill the Guardian twice, and you want to kind of be pretty far forward here and fireball in a way where you get an above water boost from this water stream here. So it looks something like this, where you kind of fireball to the point where you're kind of cleanly over it and you get so much speed from this above water boost. Then here, you kind of want to snipe this uh, barnacle over here twice. Uh, to do that with barnacles, oh uh, sorry, to do that with a fireball card, at least on my FPV, which is 95, you can just line them up with, uh, you see the bit of the cross there that like goes diagonal into horizontal. You line up that corner and you see that lines up pretty nicely with it. Uh, but you do that while you're falling and then you fireball across to here. Then you can just um, shoot this guy and his bullet at the same time and get it grounded. And then when you do this fireball, I kind of aim for this edge on the roof over here. So I'll jump and fireball up there. You shoot this guy and then jump again. And I aim in line with this line on the pillar. So I'll be like jumping over here, aim in line with the pillar. And then you jump at the end of your fireball um, speed. And then you just use your last three fireballs kind of. It's kind of hard to explain, but kind of in that manner. You kind of want to, uh, you kind of want to use them a little after you hit the balloon, not like right after. You want to kind of give your fireballs a little bit of breathing room. Oh yeah, you'll see in a run like this, you have the double slash, get the above water boost, try and kill that guy. If you don't if you don't kill this guy with two bullets, that's okay. You can just shoot him one more time here. So a full run should look something like this. And that's Amethyst by over 0.5 seconds. So the reason why I didn't really go too in depth with any in depth with anything here is because truthfully this one is very generous, at least in my opinion. Uh, no nothing about that run was too amazing. It was just basically hit all the strats and get Amethyst. See, it's basically just about using fireballs, so they're constantly hugging the floor and running along it and farming that speed boost. And uh, usually it's about jumping before that speed boost runs out. So you'll see in pretty much all of these, you want to maintain the speed from the fireball uh, by jumping towards the end of it. So here you jump a little bit earlier than the end of it to get those barnacles shots to align. Uh, here you jump at the end of it after you get the grounded. Here you jump immediately and then here you jump at the end of it and then you go into the balloons where it's just kind of take a clean line. Even if I do a pretty kind of like standard run with nothing to extravagant about it like there we go that above water boost wasn't even above water boost and i'm not riding along the floor here really at all you'll see that's still that's still almost amethyst it's off by like 11 12 milliseconds uh and that was without any above water boost or like hugging the fireballs at all so yeah, one more last like clean run to show just going over everything again jump into this fireball jump at the end of the hallway get the double slash get an above water boost kill this guy if you don't kill him, do the backup shot, aim at the line, and uh, yeah, just try and grieve these ending fireballs, and yeah, there you go. 
I mean, that's Sapphire. So yeah, this one's definitely contended for the easiest Amethyst yet, at least in my opinion, which is definitely nice following Clock Tower. Um, let me know how you guys went with Clock Tower yesterday, for any of you that went and did it. And uh, yeah, I'll see you tomorrow for Ringer. Uh-oh.